Today I'm going to show you how to knit the pillar stitch, but before we begin, please remember to like and subscribe. Now this knit stitch pattern works in multiples of two over two rows. It's very, very easy to do, and I think you'll be amazed at how quick you can pick this up. Now this, because it's worked in multiples of two, for this example, I worked with 20, so I cast it on 20 for this, just so that you could get a good idea with a, a larger swatch so that you could see the stitches. Now with the front, you end up with like a ribbing type look with these strands of yarn right here. And on the back, well, this is the back side. So you still get the ribbing. It's still attractive, just not as much as that right side row. For the materials for this tutorial, I am using the King Cole Baby Super Ball DK. This is 100% premium acrylic, and there is about 800 yards of yarn in this ball. This is a very nice yarn, it's very soft, and it is machine washable. And with this example, since I did 20, I'm not going to do that many for the tutorial. Instead, I cast it on 8. That way we can keep it short and sweet for you. Row 1 is considered your wrong side row. And it's very easy because all you do is purl. You just purl that first row. So 1, 2, Row two is considered your right side row, and you'll begin it by knitting one. And just so you know, on the right side row, you will always begin and end with a knit one. So the, your first stitch and your last stitch will always be a knit. Now we're going to begin the pattern repeat, and we're going to do that by yarning over, and then we're going to knit two. Then we're going to take that yarn over, that is right here, and we're going to pass that over those two knit stitches. And that's your stitch pattern repeat. So yarn over and knit two. Take that yarn over, pass it over those two knit stitches, and then we'll do that one more time. Yarn over, knit two. Pass that yarn over over those two knit stitches. And then when you get to that very last stitch, just knit. And that's the pillar stitch, right? That's pretty easy, huh? So the more you do it, you'll start seeing this pattern take shape. So that yarn over that you slip over those two stitches is what's going to create this column look. And that's it for this tutorial. I do hope you found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe, give it a like, and I will see you later with more patterns and tutorials. Thanks a bunch. Happy knitting. Bye-bye.